I joined CB and I, who I work for now, in the post room three years ago, and it's a, a big multinational company, and there's lots of different um, people working there from all over the world, all very intelligent people because the, the company designs oil rigs. CBI is one of their um, clients was DSME, well, you probably know, or you probably heard of, one of the big major heavy engineering companies in South Korea. And they had an office in CBI, and I used to deliver posts to this office. Having met these ladies and this, these gentlemen in the office, that they, they widened my horizons tremendously. I was always very impressed with the um, the way they treated me, the way they um, and the way they they behaved in in their their culture. And I got to know them uh, through talking and. Before then, um, my my life had not really been multicultural. You know, I'd been dealing in my businesses mainly with Europeans and no Asians, and um, um, I hadn't thought much about Asian people. In as much as a, obviously um, there was in in, in in Great Britain, there's um, Indian restaurants, <laughs> Chinese restaurants, and that's about as far as my culture went. But a, a, a Samsung um, a television. Now, before then, I, I say a couple of, say 20, 30 years ago, sort of, um, Asian culture was not a major part of um, Great Britain. Um, but generally, over the years now, has grown and grown and grown. And um, as far as um, their, their products that they produce, um, Samsung is a um, was was not a name that I ever heard of, say twenty years ago, but now it is one of the major um, brands in the, in the country. Even at um, at Christmas time, I was driving past um, uh, Marble Arch, and they had a massive electronic advert up there, which was really really good, and it was really um, impressive. As Samsung is a, ha a household name. Um, as I said, I have, a, a, I have Samsung equipment in my house, and even in this office we sit now, there's a television behind me which is a Samsung. And, mm -hmm. uh, so, um, that's true. Uh, so it's, it's, it's interesting. Um, there's a hierarchy of things in this world, and um, if you ask me about buying a car, um, if I had the, any choice that I had and I had unlimited money, um, I wouldn't necessarily buy a Japanese car or an Asian car. Purely not because they're not any, they're not bad. They're, they're actually, it's, the cars now are just as good as any European car. It's just the word prestige. You know, um, if I had a choice between a Lexus or a Aston Martin, I really would choose the Aston Martin because it is. It's part of me, it's a culture, it's who I see I am. Fifty years ago you were a very poor country and um, after uh, the Second War in the last fifty years you have really used your imagination and used your brains um, to push um, commerce forward. Now your products are excellent, um, but what it, it, prestige comes with time. Um, and it will come eventually, um, you, but um, prestige is a word that I use that goes with innovation. Um, I, I go back to when I was young, when I was a little boy, I used to look at cars and I used to look at Aston Martins and how much I'd love one of those, and, um, and, and that, that applies. But you will get prestige, um, you, you are one of the three tiger economies in the, in the world and your economy has grown excessively, or not excessively, extensively and I think that's uh, it's great. If I have anything to say to you, I'm very proud to be in contact with your country, in, albeit through um, my Korean ladies <laughs> and also um, I'm, you know, I wish you all the very best in the future. I know times are hard in your country with political war, with, with the, the problems with North Korea and, and yourselves, but um, 
over time I'm sure that will be sorted and I think to, to the better, to your, um, to your benefit, I hope.